tail lamps on per side 35 millimeters to hear further enhance that, that wider appearance. The other thing that we did with the tail lamps, you'll notice on the cars, the, is the tail lamps are neutral density, meaning that they're pretty much colorless, and that all the color that you see when the when you use the tail lamps is, is from the LEDs. And that, so it's got a, like a smoked appearance, and we felt that was something that we wanted to do that was very unique. And then the last detail you might notice, the rear diffusers are common, but the lower extractor outlets on the Z06 are twice as wide as what you see on the Stingray. Here again, we're trying to get all that air out of the back of the car. And, you know, that was a big win too, was locating the, the transit diff coolers to the back. Now your plumbing is a lot shorter and that you're putting the weight over the rear wheels, which enables better traction as well. So I'll let Harlan keep on. Yeah. Um like uh, Kirk said, on the new Z06, we basically have two um, chassis packages. The standard, all the all the Z06s have basically the wheel and tire sizes that we had on the previous ZR1. So you got a 335, 25, 20 rear rear tire, you know, 20 by by 12 rear wheel. So very aggressive wheel and tire package. Um, the standard Z06, we have a new brake system, six piston front, four piston rear, Brembo uh, steel brake system as well. And it will come standard with magnetic right control, electronic limited slip uh, differential, uh, dry sump oil system. Of course, all the, uh, all the high performance features like that. And that'll be, that'll be standard in the car. And that'll, that chassis will be available with or without the enhanced carbon fiber uh, ground effects. And then uh, the cars we, we had on display have what we call the Z07 option, and that adds the, the carbon ceramic brake package and the uh, Pilot Sport Cup tires, which are basically you know, the street legal racing tires, as well as uh, the additional aero enhancements, the wicker bill and things like that for track use. So um, there'll also be uh, three trim levels similar to the uh, Stingray as well. And uh, so there's really, um, one thing I do need to say though, we are showing that car pretty early and, there, and I think you can guess why we did have to show it early is really because of the race today. Uh, once that C7R was on the track, people pretty much will know, you know, 95% that the Z06 was going to be. So we decided let's just go out, come out with the story now, even though it is about, you know, it's about 11 months away uh, from production. Uh, so late this year, early next year, will be the first customer car. So there's a little bit of a wait, a little bit earlier than we have, but we figured let's get the story out and it really gives us an opportunity to talk about, like Kirk was saying, the, the race and, and production, you know, connection. Because we're really proud of that, how the how we use the, the race car and racing development to make, the, uh, make us a better production Corvette Z06 and Stingray as well. So, um, you don't have anything else. I think I'll, I'll open up for some questions. Well, you were quick. Well, you were ready. <laughs> On the uh, steel brake system, you have cooling fins that you have to install for steel brake. Oh, the um, the rings. Yeah. No, it, uh, the new the um, it's a different. Uh, brake construction, so um, it's more of a one piece, so it doesn't need the uh, cooling. Uh, what he's talking about is on, on a Z51 Corvette, we supply uh, additional uh, rings that you can install for if you're doing a lot of track time, and it helps keep the brakes cool. Um, and that's for the, for the Z51 brakes. The Z06 brakes will not require that, so it'll be easier. Just go. <laughs> yeah. Of, uh, of all the new performance enhancements, what are they m most proud of? Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll take that on. I would tell you uh, the aero package having the three different levels, because now we've got something there that uh, you know you can adjust yourself. The end plates can be installed by you. The rear, the rear wicker belt can be adjusted and. You know, what we want to do with that is obviously our chassis group will, will have recommendations as to what they find and what tracks, but it really allows you to tune the car to your to your liking. And, you know, you can tune it to your local track, you know, the one you most frequent. But having that adjustability, I would tell you, is, is a step of innovation we haven't done before. 
Yeah, and, and, and I'll add to that. One of the things I really like is, for, is the, the driver mode selector where you can select the track mode. We're able to really go in there and tune the exhaust, the chassis, the steering, the, ed, uh, the transmission. Even the, even we even took the, uh, the quarter racing gauges and put them in the car. I mean, the way the car is adaptable from both street and track. And um, yeah, one of the things I bet to talk about before that I totally, I don't, I can't believe I didn't, was the, uh, we just introduced a performance data recorder system uh, at the Consumer Electronics Show and actually won th uh, three awards for best in show in the automotive category. This will be out for all 2015 Corvettes as an option. And what this does, it really allows you to take your experiences on the track or, e or even on the street, uh, record them, save them, uh, share, them, share them on social media, Facebook or forums or whatever. It has a uh, high definition uh, video camera, audio recorder, and then over that it overlays your, your data. For example, your speed, what gear you're in, uh, TAC, uh, RPM, what your accelerator was, what your brake was, your G-forces. It gives you a lot of different channels of data available so you can go in and actually use it to become a better driver, compare your lap with an expert lap and um, really ha really have a, ha have you ha have a lot of fun on the car it's really one of these things um, we were coming up with the you know talking about this idea it's one of these things we kind of took from the virtual world if anybody's played some of the racing games like Gran Turismo and Forza you always got the instant replay you know after and we wanted to say why can't we do that in real life so this gives you your real life you know instant replay if you ever on the track or if you find some cool roads to drive on, you can you can share that, and it's and it's your data. It's recorded on a SD card that you can have. You can save it, delete it, whatever you want. It's your own personal for your own personal use, and I think people are going to have a lot of fun with that feature uh, for twenty for twenty fifteen. Any other questions? Yeah, back right there. Yes, how much? Oh, the question is how much uh, for this? I guess for the Z06, how much will it cost? Uh, we haven't finalized the pricing yet, but um, what I will say is, of course, you remember we were in this point last year when we introduced the Corvette Stingray sixth, seventh generation, and we told everybody if you could afford the previous Corvette, you'll be able to afford the new one. And I think most people that I've talked to said, okay, you guys did the right by us. It's a pretty reasonable price. So we'll say for the new Corvette Z06, if you could afford the previous Z06s, you'll be able to afford the new one. So be, we're not gonna radically be changing the price of the car. What's the location of headquarters for Corvette? Oh, question on the camera? Actually, um, you can see, even on the 2014 cars, not very many people notice there is a little cutout in the blackout near the mirror, and that's for the that's where the camera is located. So it gives you, you know, pretty close to kind of a driver's height, you know, eye height view out the windshield, and um, and you can choose to record. You can record just a video, and the audio. You can record. Uh, there's one we we'll call like a sport level, which has just a few channels of data, and then the track level, which has, you know, all the all the data overlaid on top of it, and then you can also. Um, take the uh, data and we're going to have an online uh, program uh, which is co-developed with Cosworth uh, who does the telemetry for the race car and then you can go in there and really create charts and graphs and you can be your own race engineer and really if you're into it you can go to town and, and do all kinds of analysis on your lap time so it's everything you know from a casual user to the serious user we can, we can uh, accommodate that. Uh, just some production numbers, Harlan. Uh, top three colors. I know you want to talk about that. And uh, but Z51 to base car. You know, just some general production numbers to date so far. Okay, general production numbers. We got we had orders in for about sixteen thousand between cars we built and some that are already scheduled. We're doing about three thousand a month. Um, the top three colors for the Stingray. Anybody want to guess number one color? Tor torch red, number one color, followed by black, and followed by arctic white are the top three. So three classic colors really are the, are the top three. And then uh, the cyber gray and Laguna blue are also up there as well. And um, Z51 package has been running um, 
close to 60% or pretty much uh, the most we can do is pretty much what we're running. And um, some of the other uh, features, I would say the uh, magnetic ride, of course, is, is about more than half of the Z51s people are getting the uh, magnetic ride control. The new, um, the black interior is always the most popular. The new uh, adrenaline red interior is doing really, really well as well. And the other thing too, um, the black wheels, black wheel option, you know, is pretty, you, you, typically it used to be the chrome was the highest. It's really close now between black and chrome, you know, for the highest, uh, highest wheels as well. So, um, and the 3LT three, three is the most popular package, which is the, the top. So we kind of expected that as well. So things are doing, uh, we couldn't be happier with how the launch of the uh, Corvette Stingray has gone. And I hope everybody, you know, with the car of the year and everything like that. So any other questions? Yeah. Are you going to limit the number of Z06s you build? Uh, the question is, are we going to limit the amount of Z06s we build? I don't think we're necessarily going to hard limit it, but there will be some limitations um, just based on some of the capacity of some of the uh, unique parts for the Z06, like ceramic brakes, the carbon fiber, ground effects, things like that. So, But we do expect, um, I do, I expect it to do very well, especially with the additions we've done, having two transmissions available. And it's, I think it's a, it is a big deal because if you look at the way the industry is going, the high performance supercars, you know, we're talking 600 plus horsepower or 500 plus, you look at the competitors out there, they're all going to one transmission. So we feel kind of not only excited about the automatic, but how that we still have a real manual with a clutch that everybody else in this segment is getting out of. And we think that's important too, that we kept that going. So, and, and having the removable roof option. So. I, you know, I'm kind of anticipating that we should get back to, um, you know, pretty healthy Z06 like we had when it first came out back in 06, so, yeah. Is, is it going to be the same? Is it a different clutch you're going to put in it? Uh, the manual, is it a different, uh, it's, it's basically very similar, slightly beefed up for more torque, and um, the, the ratios are slightly different, but... It'll, it's basically the similar transmission was designed with this in mind, the new seven speed. In the back. Talk about the new yellow and the new gray for next year. <laughs> uh, we do have a new gray on display, shark gray. Uh, the yellow is the velocity yellow that we have had in the in the past. So it. it you're reporting you're going to change the yellow also. That's not true. Who's reporting? Feehan. <laughs> Feehan. You got guys right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's still velo it's velocity yellow, and if I, we do have a new gray called uh, on the, the car on display. It's called shark gray. Yeah. Any other any other questions? No. Yep. Yeah, one more. For those of us that don't mind getting our hair messed up, are we going to have a true Z06 convertible? I know the aerodynamics and all that wouldn't be the same, but it's very deep in the removable roof. But are we going to be able to put the top down? Uh, I don't really have any announcement at this time. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> so, yeah. Will you be able to turn off the audio on the data recorder? Because I mean, really, how many times do you want to hear this is freaking awesome? <laughs> <laughs> or, or something else. <laughs> or oh, sh no. Well, I don't, I, I don't know if you can't turn on. Turn, I don't think so. Uh, but we're happy to hear hear that. I mean, obviously, in your Turn the volume down, I guess, but <laughs> that's a good one.